come back out to Adam's Apple Orchard outside of Alt to check out some of the new things that they've done, and this time we're picking apples. So Will and Mike out here gave us the update of the new apples that they have and how we pick them and so forth, but they're also doing pumpkins here in the fall and they've got some great event areas. So they're doing weddings out here and any other type of events that really fit this venue and it looks like it's gonna be just a fantastic place for that. So here we have some of the more high-tech machinery. The apple press to make some apple cider. I'd love to see this thing in action. I'll bet it works just absolutely amazingly. Tree number one starts at the road and works out. And it goes south to north. It's really fun how they have you pick apples. So they designate particular rows and particular tree numbers. So that way they can rotate through and you don't show up and there's no apples. But I have noticed something. The closer you are to the store where they drop you off, the less apples they are. Shows you how much people are willing to walk out into the orchard to really hunt for the good ones. So tip of the day, hunt for the good apples. So on your apple trees, you want to do a little bit of thinning by taking off some of the smaller apples, which allow the other apples to grow much larger. Otherwise, they end up as small bunches like this on some of these trees. One of those buds will produce five to seven apples. And there's a couple ways to do it. You can either go out and clip them, um, which is ideal, or you can do it chemically. And I did that oh. the first year. I had the orchard under the direction of the guy I bought it from, because I bought it in June, and middle of June, there's a you know, once the apples are about that big, you uh -huh. spray a chemical and, it, and it'll, it'll retard, you know, two to four of those seven apples. Uh, oh, the trouble wow. is okay. it's a crapshoot, you know, yeah. when you're doing it, and that scared me, I'll never do it again. The shiniest apple. Ooh, look at how shiny it is. You made a shiny apple. It's absolutely amazing how many different kinds of apples are out here. There's over 20 varieties here, and, and some of these names I've never even heard of. You know, we've got Sweet Sixteens, Harrelsons, Ruby Johns, Snow Sweets. I'm excited to try the Snow Sweets. Um, Bellas, we've got uh, Pixie Crunch. Pixie Crunch, Pixie Crunch apples. I'm gonna go find those right now. Together, so I'll stand up and walk out and make my way along for now. Heavy as a feather, pure as the driven snow. But watch your back, it's heartbreak weather. I think it's time you go. My mind's made up. My mind's made up. We keep doing this, but nothing's getting better. So I'll stand up and walk out and make my way along for now. You're a destination, you're not a place you they have to go. Yeah, you're not a Walmart. Yeah. But I think it helped a little because it was pretty steady. It, the morning was still very busy. And I was worried about, you know, my amount of baskets, we were close. We were very close. And um, and then, you know, but then it didn't, because last week it didn't seem that it really, not didn't die, but it was pretty, and then it just, it just kind of stayed. It was nice. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. Incredible, actually. That's good. That's awesome. Yeah. Picking all of the apples based off of like their names. Oh, yeah. We were like, oh, this one sounds cool. This one sounds cool. And we're like, we're, we're gonna have no idea what we're eating. What they are. What are you doing? 